Hello Gemini, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 2nd of April. This week continues to see the Sun and Mercury your ruler and Uranus, the planet of surprises, all gathered in the part of your scope which is helping you to think about your future but also about your aspirations, your ideals and your friendships. Now Mercury continues to track backwards as it will do through to the middle of April. Now I'm sure you're well versed when Mercury's slammed on the brakes that there can be misunderstandings. And the misunderstandings in this context could be about some of the things that you do want to do further down the line or it could be how you interact with your friends or one in particular. Perhaps you're not feeling so chatty or so inclined to connect to people. Not least because Venus, which is a social planet, has moved into a hidden, more sheltered zone, which is asking you to think a little bit more about the sincerity in your connections anyway. But this week also sees Mercury clashing with Saturn, but also with Mars. When Mercury and Mars clash, it can create a lot of nervous energy. When Mercury and Saturn clash, it can create a sense of limitation, especially around our thinking, we can be a little more pessimistic. And because you've got this gathering of energy in the most optimistic of areas, that's obviously asking you to just make sure that some of your hopes and aspirations are really merited. But Mars is also alongside Saturn for the whole of this week. This is quite a tasty influence. If you tuned in last time, you'll know that Mars was alongside Pluto which is a very passionate combination. But this one is to do with limitation more because of Saturn's natural tendency to be uh, much more of a check and balance to the thrust and drive that is Mars. So it's possible that around something that you share closely with someone else, it could be a relationship, it could be a business tie, it could be who you bank with, it could be something to do with a property matter, you may have to really focus this week because something you would like to go your way may be challenged a little bit by circumstances and it could create quite a lot of frustration. Fortunately, the sun is forging a brilliant angle to the north node, the point of destiny, which is in a very bubbly, chatty and vibrant part of your scope. So you can still project an upbeat uh, uh, persona to the wider world, but just be aware of the politics in situations, especially around groups. There could even be one friend who's actually quite envious of you, and especially if you've been doing better around uh, a business situation, an enterprise uh, that you've been investing time in. Not everybody necessarily might be quite as delighted as you would like. And yet if you are making progress, around the more worldly side of life and you're slowly but surely edging forwards, building up your resources. By the end of this week, as Venus forges a great link with both Saturn and Mars, you could end this week feeling very satisfied by how things are progressing. But I think the light and thrilly and fluffy side of life, if you like, is going to be downplayed a little bit. This is about being more serious about what your future holds and also more realistic about how other people can be. Someone could disappoint you. And as long as you're ready for that, and continue to work hard on what you're doing, which is good for your long-term future and security, by the week's end, you can still be raising a glass in celebration. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you would like or comment on it or subscribe to my channel if you've yet to do so. But for now, good luck and goodbye. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.